Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Each month I offer um, special discount readings, so if you would like to know more about the special offer for the month of November, just email me and I will gladly provide all the info required. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link down below. So Capricorn, I feel like some of you are really focused during this period in trying to move, um, you know, to a better state of mind. I feel like some of you really want to get away from stress, get away from problems, get away from the noise um, that may surround some of you, but it's a challenging energy to do so, to allow yourself or to feel free to just disconnect and go into your own bubble of, um, you know, interests and what provides to you a sense of well-being and a sense of connectedness with what you truly desire to do during this time. Because I feel like some of you are receiving a lot of interferences, um, uh, external interferences, you know, that are kind of <clears throat> trying to, uh, you know, put your attention uh, in places where your your heart and your desire are not. So what I'm trying to say is that you may be challenged during this period of time to be more assertive, to be more of an individual figure, as this King of Wands is represented here, to be more of a leader, to be more about you and what you want to do, to pave the way, okay, of your destiny in accordance to your own vision and terms. To not allow others to determine so much of what you are doing. Um, of course that this applies for Capricorns dealing with this, dealing with a lot of pressure, a lot of expectations uh, kind of projected into them, a lot of a uh, bagging energy around them, you know, begging them to take care of them or, or assistance, financial assistance or, you know, uh, you know, more of dominant figures in your life uh, trying to make you do, uh, you know, certain things that maybe deep down you know you don't want to do, but you end up compromising or overextending, you know, yourself to please others, okay? Be careful with that type of energy because that will make you feel, um, I feel some of you really, really, um, it's like, um, you know, empty, feeling like you're not fulfilling your own desires and fulfilling and feeling like you don't have authority over your life. Some of you are dealing with authority issues. It could be um, for some of you dealing with oppressing forces, but it could also be, as always in my readings, it could also be that you are being maybe a little bit forceful or authoritarian or too, mu too much of an authoritarian um, towards others and you may realize this or you may be called to um, someone may call your attention towards this more of this bossy behavior this selfish behavior um, because I feel like it can go as always both ways even though I feel like the majority is things that you are kind of here meant to it's like um, embody your on your own. So for Capricorns that have been too submissive, Capricorns that have been uh, hiding their true colors, that have been afraid to affirm themselves and do things um, to satisfy their egos and to satisfy their desires, um, this may happen. You know, you may be attracting a lot of circumstances where others are more of a narcissistic or a selfish or again or authori authoritarian people so that you look at them and you stand up for yourself okay it's not about becoming them of course it's about standing up to your own sense of power i also feel like this king of wands because it's the opportunity maybe is uh letting some of you know that there may be a character in your life during this period of time with this trait, this fiery traits that can actually be supportive, 
okay, that can actually teach you quite a lot about how to be um, strong on the self, how to have that willpower, okay, to conquer and do things in life on your own. Some of you may want to be, you know, pioneers. Some of you may want to have your own businesses and have your own life, you know. Um, it's like you want, some of you want to have a life that it's more original or more creative, more interesting than what some of you are currently living. Others of you are really focused on money or on, again, having new sources of income coming to you through original sources, through sources that may be, um, you know, unusual or just different from what you currently or you have been kind of uh, acquiring because this is the advice is the beautiful page of pentacles and as you can see there's a lot of fertility here showing uh, in the way this card uh, this uh, deck has chosen to portray the page of uh, the page of pentacles there's a lot of fertility there's a lot of promise within you to generate abundance and to create from within again from that spark of your original flame loads and loads and loads of opportunities but the advice is for you to create the advice is for you to not be distracted to not be um you know it's like taken uh to others it's like to to, to be to not be taken to the, a path okay that it's of others that it's not yours you know realizing that maybe what makes sense to your family, what makes sense to your loved one, what makes sense to your children, what makes sense to your parents. It's okay for them, but it's not what you want to do on your own. You know, I feel like some of you are, it's like uh, cutting some um, umbilical cord here. Um, it could be an issue, yes, of generations. It could be something that some Capricorns is like you have been carrying as something that you have to do like for example there's a lot lots of cases where you grow up in a family of doctors and you're expected as well to become a doctor but maybe what you want to to be is an artist you know or something else that the world portrays as not being a very stable job not really a well looked job something that may be risky not give you the financial abundance that you should have to have all the comforts and so forth and so forth and for Capricorns dealing with this expectation, you may be aware that either you go towards, you take that brave step to walk on your own journey, or uh, you walk on the journey of others and you become uh, repressed and you become, you know, less than what you could have been. And can you live with that? If you can honestly tell yourself that yes, you can, and that's the choice you consciously make, then of course, no judgment. You should just stop and reflect about what type of life or who is running your life. Is it you or is it the demands of the outside world? This is what is extremely important during this mid month is to ask this question. Also to ask, uh, you know, the motivations behind the current employments you are dealing with, because I feel like some of you are not happy with your work and some of you want to do something new with work. And finances some of you want to um, have uh, maybe a solo career or your own business or just change the paradigm okay of uh, the current employment you're having it's like uh, some of you are really not happy there and it may be a time to change it may be a time to take that step once you realize okay that's what you want to do or where your true again motivations lie is it on money? Is it on security? Is it on happiness? Is it on purpose? Is it on what? And once you achieve that answer on your own, you will see that there's some type of clarification coming. I also feel that other Capricorns are battling their sorrows, okay? Some of you are kind of dealing with, um, I don't know if it's losses, if it's, you know, issues, problems with relationships that are kind of um, have this uh, regretful energy. So some of you may be, um, you know, uh, crying 
overspilled milk or there's issues in your life that are you know you're not you know considering what may still be there you may be too focused on what you have lost and maybe there's still st something there to be kind of um you know rescued or mended or or important and you're so focused on the loss that you're not seeing maybe uh, the silver lining or where the good aspect of it may lie and you may be called during this period as well to um it's like change the direction okay here of your your focus and this applies again to work to relationships but also to your sense of self so it's like um detaching more your uh detaching more of yourself through the eyes of, you know through wanting to look good or wanting to fit what the eyes of the world expect from you and being more just you being yourself whatever that is just being yourself so i hope you have a great mid month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, commenting, and donating to my channel, I really appreciate it. And please keep doing so, and hopefully we'll see each other soon.